Tom Sterling with her stallion goes over the downhill rails, over the turning feeders for Dan Bloodle. No problems there at the uh, open feeder for Jodie Poulton and over the first the logs for Helen McNeil. And a provision of 48.3 for Caitlin Bland. Now the hanging log, the quiet side pens for Gambler, Diana Bloodle. Just two to go for Quantum Clover Gold. There's the log drop at 15. Then the log cut. Over the Octa 2 question fence for Rackle Lame. Rackle Lame goes over that second fence as Quantum Gold, Clover Gold comes past the finish to finish a good round. Finish it quick, finish it well. It's down the back. Also going well. Get more down the level. She comes towards the flower block. Ears pricked. Just put a quick one in, but all safe, quite steady, and clear, going for those downhill rails, and no problems with the chase fence, field had chase fence for Mackie Lane, across the side of the hill now to the turning feeders, Turning feeders now in the hanging log for Helen McNeil. Double hill down rails and then the open feeder cleared by Diana Blunder. She pops over that open feeder, the hat cam fem now sets up for the log drop as over the hanging log, the quiet side hanging drop for Mackie Lane is our new starter goes off number 385. Silver Socks and um, Matilda Burridge. She'll just come across from North Yorkshire riding for Henrietta Burridge. They're on their way over the over the first top stop fence, and they had a 36.5 dress out. Also going for double clears. Over down the Blundell comes over the last to complete. Over the 10th for Castleford, 10th for Helen McNeil. Silver Jucks, Matilda Barry just waiting to go. She's on the way. So now the post and rails for Silver Shop. Down the down from there and finished. Over the over the downhill rails for Mackie Lane. One to One go. Over the last four. Over the field on 14. Eliminating the time for Aaron Cook. That's very important. 